Okay, question 14, we've got a bearings question. So, we haven't got a diagram for this, it might be sensible to try and draw a diagram. So, I've got my hideous pink protractor here. Bearing of a ship from a lighthouse is 50 degrees. So, what I'm going to do to start with is I'm going to try and draw this. So, I've got from the lighthouse, so if I start at the lighthouse, and bearings are always measured from north clockwise. So if I start at the lighthouse looking north and then I look at an angle of 50 degrees so I'm going to measure an angle of 50 degrees so 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, that's over here then my ship is somewhere over here So the bearing of the ship from the lighthouse is 50. So what I'm saying is if I'm standing at the lighthouse and I want to look at the ship, I've got to turn 50 degrees from north. So I need to work out the bearing of the lighthouse from the ship. So if I'm standing on the ship and I want to look at the lighthouse and I'm facing north, what angle do I have to turn through so I'm then facing back towards the lighthouse? So bearings are always measured around from north clockwise. So I'm going to need this angle here. Now there's a couple of different ways I can do this. Um, there's quite a nice little trick with bearings, which is that these two angles inside here, because actually to do with the properties of parallel lines, and this one is the same as this one, well, this one will have to be 130 degrees because angles on a straight line are 180. So that one will also be 130 degrees. So inside these two bearing lines, your angles are always going to add up to 180. So once you've got that, you can actually just say, well, this entire angle round here is 360, because angles around a point are 360, take away 130. So that's going to be 230 degrees. If you're not sure about that, what you could do is you could say, draw the little quick diagram. So I know that round there is 180 degrees, and if I think about what shape I've got here, that's 50 degrees, I've got a Z shape, so because of alternate angles, this angle here has to be 50 degrees. So the total turn there is 180 plus 50, so again that's going to give you 230 degrees. But I actually think the easiest way of doing this question is remembering this fact. So inside that bearing shape, these two angles will always add up to 180.